Played over 60 parts. Played over 15 hours. And now is the time for us to face him once and for all. Are we ready? Yes, we are. After we have captured four crowns, got almost every single health slot, obtained every possible skill and ability items we, ha we were able to obtain. Now it's the moment of the truth. Welcome to the final showdown with Sit. I've been waiting for you, Sphinx, the one of the prophecy. I see that my brother Osiris is not here to face me. He has he is too weak for such a confrontation. Or perhaps he is just too cowardly to stand against me. We, you have done well to th throw throughout my plans so far, but ultimately I will control the power of the of Ra. You and your undead cohort have fulfilled the prophecy this far. But I will see it. I will see to it. The prophecy ends with your death, and the Zeus being destroyed by me. I never saw such a brotherhood hatred like this. <coughs> and this is Seth's true form. Ugly. Super ugly. Pathetic creature. I just didn't tell you about my true form. <laughs> now is the time has come for you to die. Let's play the final showdown. Now, about this fight. He's going first of all to throw these fires at you. Do not stop at all. These puppets over here are going to give you massive damage. You cannot beat any of them. So just ignore them and try to stay away from them as, as much as you can. He has three types of... Um, Yes, I already fought him before. He has uh, three types of attacks. The fire one is uh, one of them. This is the second one is uh, what I call the wall of Ra. The third one, which is going, he is going right now to use pretty soon. You just need to come here and strike his head, <coughs> and he will sink down. <coughs> this time I already fought him, so I can get a background idea about what to do. These things cannot be destroyed, so just avoid them. <coughs> this is his, his third attack. He will throw some useless fireballs at you. They are really useless, but their effect is the most useful. Because they are going to be making some lava sections on the, uh, the ground, where you, if you touch them, you will lose health. <coughs> now, if you still remember the physical warrior practices that I made and suffered from, these practices now will show you their fruits. Yes, we didn't suffer for nothing. We suffered for a fruitful practice. <laughs> this is the stack number two. Don't you even think about going outside this wall because you will die instantly. <laughs> what is he? Yes, the fire stuck again. As you can see over here, the uh, floor is red, and that means only one thing, this is lava. Now, do you remember this as well? This obstacle from the physical warrior challenge from Abydis. If you have finished these challenges, this one will be no problem for you at all. Whatever, just come on and strike him for the, for the fourth time. Now, <laughs> he's going to be freaking really, really angry with you. So be careful, okay? Now, he's going again to play with the, the fire. Try to guess forehead, ouch, forehead the uh, direction he's going to protect with. If you want even to get of his ouch reach, you can as well sacrifice one health unit in order to get away from him. Now, the next one may be the last one. Do you see these things? Jump on them. Without any delayment, okay? Wait, jump, jump, wait, jump, 
Use your double jumps as much as you can. Give every jump its own time. You need right now to get to a set no matter what. So, just take your time. And this freaking pissing off thingy. Get this. The, fi the fifth strike so far. <coughs> okay. Come on, when will you die set? Again, he's going to play with fire, huh? Yes, for the last time. Ow. Go away from me, silly puppet. Ow! So far, I have lost three units of health, but it's okay so far. Um, okay now. I do believe the first time I finished this, my little brother Matthew was really making funny jokes about him that I have actually died over 50 times. I mean it, for real. Now, these things are increased in uh, speed. Be careful. Is he seriously just going to use this attack only? Fine, whatever. I'm not complaining. This is the sixth strike with the Osiris Blade. <coughs> okay, Set, when, when will you give up? Set. By the way, Set is uh, probably the hardest of type of the enemies, but I still see him as the second hardest. The first hardest one was the... Um, was the... I do believe the ow the spider thingy anyway just ignore these silly puppets that one of them just came in to this place with me ignore him as much as you can wait a minute a little bit now again much more faster I do believe he'll just restart the <coughs> the most uh, the same way he just used to with us this is the seventh final strike. Set is done for good. <coughs> okay, now go to the lava set. Okay, now. Okay. What is this? The mummy, Toot. Hi, pal. How are you? Feeling better now? You are right now out of the frozen standards. Okay. This is basket as well. Excellent Sphinx, you saved the mummy from Set's hands. Set has been se severely weakened, but it is not his destiny to be destroyed. <coughs> the world cannot exist without evil, just as the light of the day needs to be balanced with the darkness of the night. With Set weakened, he will not be able to fight the, his true destiny to, uh, to, uh, uh, until to unit tonight with his brother Osiris. This will restore balance to the godly kingdom. And this is Anubis talking with us. Behold, the mighty Osiris has arrived. Yes, he this says that both brothers Ouch, ow, 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 ow. As you remember, he took from him the four crowns. And this is the mighty Osiris. Finally, the ancient prophecy of Ra has been fulfilled. Light and darkness are now together. We <coughs> we will be able to live in uh, harmony again. I do believe this means this is Ra. Sphinx and Tutankhamun, Amen. You have both been very brave to conclude to conclude this dangerous siege. <coughs> Sphinx, because of your actions and bravery, your name will go down in history and be remembered forever. <laughs> Where to go? Tutankhamun, Amen. I can give you the last Kalabic vase that will transform you back to your human shape and let you return to your kingdom. Thanks to you both, balance will be brought to the world, <coughs> worlds for many generations to come. More dangerous adventures will come in the future for both of you, but, but for the moment, rest and enjoy your treatment. Tadakh Amin, I will give you, I give you this canopic vase with my gratitude. Yes! The final one! He will return again to, the, to his human shape. Toot, calm down! Calm down! Calm down! Calm down! Calm down! Calm down. Calm down. <gasps> no! No! Toot! Don't worry, Toot al There must be another way to change you back. Poor one! He's about to cry! Perhaps other worlds will hold the key to your salvation. Poor guy, he's just about to cry. <laughs> See his eyes. Poor guy, he must stay a uh, mommy for the meantime. 
We will help you find the answer. What a poor guy! <laughs> poor dude! <coughs> and with that being said, congratulations, Sphinx, the curse's mummy is done. <coughs> I must really confess, this game is really enjoyable so much. I really had a great time playing it. I know sometimes I failed miserably. Sometimes I was freaking hysterical, hysterian, and sometimes I was too crazy. I know I had a few rages inside this game, and I know that, well, <laughs> I had some stupidity moments. This game is really great, even though it's a very old game, and well, it doesn't have any characters sound uh, s sound uh, tracks or sound tra sound act acting but still it's a very great game as you have just heard him saying there should be another sphinx 2 game but until this very moment thq didn't yet uh, make one which is the company that made this game <laughs> and well um what, what can I say else? This game is very great and I do really um, advise you to play it. <coughs> now to finish off this uh, walkthrough totally, I will still waiting till the, uh, the credits finish and show you the trailer. I didn't show you the trailer before the, the end of the game because the trailer has too many spoilers so then i hope you all enjoyed this uh, game play and uh, walk through and i hope i did pretty well in your eyes and <laughs> for the entire game as a whole i hope i was a pretty good let's player and i am so sorry about the very bad quality that i had but what I can i do with the 2 megapixel mobiles camera <laughs> anyway I hope you all enjoyed it, and I did do I do enjoy it myself. So then, <coughs> that's pretty much it for the for now. So thanks all for watching, and let's wait for the credits to end over here. Um, there's some nice music here, but I cannot really make the voice too uh, too loud. Can I little bit? And with that, I can tell you, game over. I will show you, let you right now see the trailer. And with that, this Let's Play project will be <coughs> heading to its end. Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. Okay, come on, game. Show us the trailer. Already. <laughs> Enjoy it.
Didn't I tell you it's full with the spoilers? Basically, it shows you all the game. <coughs> so then, that being seen, and that being said, I do believe it's this project will end right now. So right now, you know the thing. Like and favorite if you enjoy. Subscribe for more videos in the future. Please comment, and I hope to see you all in the next project let's play. If I ever done any other one with the live commentary, that if you liked it, just tell me if you like it, or and you want me to make another project with full commentary. <coughs> with it, so then, invisible with you, signing out. So all guys later and good luck. Thanks to the Chris Bami over here. It's done. Game over. Goodbye all. I, ho I hope you enjoyed it and see you all guys later. There comes another slash. <laughs>